high Sagittarius, so now's the time that you really need to focus. There's something that you're doing that you're making good progress with. You're on your way to success. You're headed for achievement. This could be in work. This could be in love. This could be in spirituality. But I got this card for you before we pull out the tarot. Let's just talk about this oracle card. Eye of the Needle, Intentionality. And what this card speaks about is really honing in on what it is that you want to do. So when you think about threading a needle, so you can see the needle there, we really have to focus in, right? If we, if our eyes go somewhere else, it's really hard to thread that damn needle. <laughs> so we have to hone in, narrow our vision, and let everything else around us kind of disappear until we can get that thread through the needle. So you're at this point right now where you're just about to get something threaded. You're just about to make the first step or complete the last. I'm not sure which it is for you. It's probably different for each of you out there or different groups of you, but Spirit is saying, focus, don't give up and get rid of all the distractions, all the noise. And Sag, I know you tend to deal with a lot of people in your life, whether that's in your profession or your family life or your friendships, what have you, but it's really a time for you to prioritize yourself and kind of put everybody in the background, not in a selfish way, but in a way that um, honors your commitment to your goals and your life's purpose and what you hold as high value in your life. Okay, Sagittarius, so let's get into your reading. This is a general reading, so we might expand on this message. Uh, or we may deviate. I don't know what spirit wants to talk about exactly. Uh, let's use this new deck that I got here. I got this for my birthday, so I'm excited to use it. It's the Naked Heart Tarot. We'll give it a, a quick sage here, I feel like, that's necessary, or this is actually Palo Santo. But whatever I do in a reading typically is related to a, to the reading itself. So you might want to, in terms of clearing out your space and honing in and focusing in, you might want to actually clear something with sage or with some kind of Palo Santo or bath salts. If you want to take a bath or some kind of cleansing purification you could do. I'm also hearing deleting numbers. Okay. That's interesting. So if you have a phone full of numbers of people that you don't talk to, maybe you don't talk to them for years, you don't even know if that's their number anymore, ask yourself why they're still in your phone if you don't plan on talking to them or if you don't even know if that's their number anymore. There's something about that taking up space, not only in your phone, but also in your subconscious, knowing that you are somehow corded or attached to those energies and to those people uh, I don't know, there's something here that Spirit wants to remind you of that you could clear that out now, or it's time to clear those people out uh, from your energy, from your space. Maybe this is a particular message just for one or two of you. But subconsciously, when we know we have a phone book full of dead numbers or people we don't want to talk about, ooh, talk about, I was going to say talk to, okay, or even talk about, <laughs> then really, why are we holding on to that? You know, what is our subconscious thinking we're doing with all of that then? Okay, so let's get into your reading. <laughs> Spirit guides, let's see what you have to say for the Sagittarius Collective. Now, of course, this isn't specific to Sagittarius Sun. You can have Sagittarius anywhere in your chart or, you know, the ha you know your ninth house could be heavily populated whatever you'd like to do or maybe you just came across this reading and you feel inspired to watch it there's really no rules in the way you watch tarot and don't let anyone else tell you otherwise maybe the one thing that you want to keep in mind is that it is a general reading <laughs> okay so it may not resonate with you but if it does uh, that's fantastic and there will be an extended and you can find that link in the description box below okay Let's see, what do we have for Sagittarius? I, I just heard someone ask about me pulling the cards rather than shuffling them out. I alternate it, I just go with my intuition on what I feel guided to do in any given moment. So yeah. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, let's have a look here. Sagittarius, four of wands at the bottom with these beautiful sunflowers. So maybe you're focusing on building security and stability for yourself or finding a home or laying a new foundation. Of course, you could be starting to build a relationship with someone, a friendship, or maybe a love relationship, or even a better relationship with yourself. Whatever this is that you're doing, however, it is delicate and it needs attention and care. Sunflowers are pretty hardy, right? When they're in the ground, they're pretty hardy, but this one's not in the ground. So you have to kind of keep an eye out for them to make sure they don't grow mold and you know that they're getting the proper sunlight. So this is something that is a little bit delicate here. And I feel like if you divert your attention from whatever it is you're, you're wanting to pay attention to or wanting to do, it could easily kind of uh, escape you or fall apart in some way. Just because of the energies itself, not because anything, um, not because it's not yours or anything like that. It's just delicate is the best way I could say it. So your current energy is the spirit of swords. I'm pretty sure that is the, well, let's, let's check it. Let's make sure. Spirit of swords. Okay, so it's the king of swords. And then we'll, while we're here, we'll check, check the other one so we don't waste too much time. But even this too, it's like being, rather than me guessing, right? Like double check on things, be particular, be exact in what it is that you're saying or doing. Okay, we got it. King of Swords, your current energy. I just did um, a reading for Cancer and it was about the Jaguar Spirit Guide. And this is coming out here, I am seeing this. so. That reading may have a message for you, even if you don't have cancer in your chart. So if you feel guided, you could check that out. I'll put the link at the end of this video. But what I'm seeing here is that you are very attentive to something. You have your eye on something. You're a little bit stealth with it even. Okay, I feel like that you've been watching something for a while, an opportunity grow, some connection that you want to rebuild or build, somewhere you want to travel. You've been really watching the details i'm hearing the particulars of the situation and you're waiting for the right time to act you're very patient here and i feel like you acting means you i'm hearing putting the documents in order it it's like beginning the first stitch Whenever you decide to act, and you may have already, or maybe you're getting ready to, it's like you put the needle in, you put the first stitch in, and you slowly weave together whatever it is that you're building or making for yourself. This is not an energy of, boom, I'm going for it. I feel like that energy has already come and gone, and now that you're inspired down a particular path, you're being very careful in how you want to let this unfold or how you want to sew it together. It's interesting, unfold and sew together. You know, those kind of sound like opposites. So that's an interesting question. What, what, what is it that you, how do you characterize this thing that you're doing as an unfolding or as a s stitching and sewing together? I feel like spirit wants you to clarify that for yourself. Because with this, I'm seeing a quilt, with stitching something together, it's like you're bringing in different aspects, okay, to make something. And unfolding, it's like you're letting something that you already have or the way you already are to kind of just be but take up more space. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so your current challenge is the chariot in reverse. So you want to go, you want to go forward, you want this to take off, you know, maybe you actually want to travel somewhere. But the energy is blocked right now. And that might feel annoying you might feel like you might miss an opportunity here. I feel like you've been very patient for this uh, project, for this. It's kind of like a new beginning, but you're already into it. 
you know what I mean? Like you've already laid some kind of groundwork. You've already gotten the needle and the thread, you know, like you've already decided you're going to do this thing. And now it's like, you know what, how to act. You're waiting for the right time, the right resources, but it's kind of getting to this point. It's like, okay, well, when is this going to happen? When is this going to unfold? I'm hearing there's something you're not seeing. The lovers. For some of you, it could be an incoming contract. For others of you, there's some kind of competition or I'm hearing strife, five of wands in reverse. Some kind of strife involved in this. Maybe there's a lot going on, things you need to sort out. And what you don't see coming is that um, it's going to be made really clear and easy for you to, to uh, there's some kind of decision coming up that's going to allow this to work out the way it needs to with the lovers. For some of you, you're about to meet someone here or somebody's coming in that is gonna affect the way that this all happens. Maybe it's someone who's gonna support you. I feel like it's a positive thing. Okay, so spirit might be delaying whatever you're doing because something else is getting ready to come in for you. What's supporting you is the Five of Swords. Look at that card. Oops. <laughs> I'm looking at this shark. And I don't know. He looks kind of he, she, whatever, they, it looks very sad to me for some reason. I feel like someone... is giving up so, like uh, somebody may have been causing you trouble or kind of just bothering you annoying you standing in your way in some I don't know in some context and it's like they're just deciding to give up this is someone who's all talk okay all I'm hearing all fin and no bite <laughs> Yeah, right? Like you can see the fin coming in the ocean, right? But there's not they're not going to bite. So maybe there was someone here that you were really nervous about or they felt aggressive to you in some way, but like nothing's going to happen. And I feel like that's being revealed to you. Yeah, the fool. Once this is revealed to you or once you really understand that this is no longer a roadblock or there's nothing that this person can really do to stop you, that's when things are going to take off as well as the lovers, I'm hearing, as well as the lovers. Can I get something if this is a love situation? The Fool. Okay, so they're confirmed again here. Yeah, so the Four of Swords at the bottom. This person's just going to stop interfering if this is about love and there's been some kind of block either in the person you're... Uh, I'm, I'm hearing conspiring about, okay, I don't know, maybe that's just for someone, and the person that you're inquiring about, um, if there's been some kind of block in them, they're going to open up, they're going to let down their guard, or if somebody's been getting in the way of a particular love connection, I feel like they're just going to swim away. They're no longer going to be involved or have, I'm hearing a heavy hand in, I'm hearing the project, but this feels like it's about love. Okay, maybe this is love and work mixed together for some of you. What have you overcome recently? We have the movement of cups. That's the Knight of Cups here. I'm seeing this as the initial stages of um, inspiration or falling in love or wanting to be in a relationship or wanting to get something going, like creating something, starting, I'm hearing a channel, okay, for someone it's it's a, a YouTube channel, uh, or whatever, a business, whatever it is that you're doing. You spent a lot of time in contemplation, maybe a little bit of fantasy about what it could look like, what your life could look like, you know, how this relationship could unfold, who your perfect person is, blah, 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 right? A lot of time in that dreamy kind of energy um, fantasizing and th there's nothing wrong with that but you certainly have progressed from that I feel like this was quite a prolonged stage for you for some of you it was 
sadness that you had to get over, um, not get over, sorry, get through. <laughs> um, yeah, because I'm seeing this whale emerging from below the water to the surface to see the cup. So it's like coming up from this place that was a little bit dark, maybe a little bit deep. You went deep within to do some exploration. For some of you, this is definitely related to some kind of grief or some kind of loss or a heartbreak, something like this. How did you get over this block here or the fantasy or whatever it is for you? Eight of Wands. Well, you said, <laughs> like, I have to move. I have to get unstuck. I have to make this fantasy I have reality. I have to do this thing for myself. I'm hearing life is short. And if, if some of you have been watching for a while, you know that every time I say that, spirits in my ear, like, don't say that. <laughs> so I don't know. One day I'm going to have to do a reading on, I'm here, yes, about what spirit is saying with that. Interesting. Um, yeah, okay. We'll move past that. I'm getting a little <laughs> bothered here by that message. Okay, so you, anyways, your perspective, okay, I'm not necessarily saying it, but your perspective is I got to get a move on. Life is progressing. I'm hearing without me and I need, I need to move forward. I need to take the bull by the horns. So this is beautiful. I'm hearing the longer you've waited, the wiser you got. So don't think about that time of, I'm hearing compression, or that time of isolation or planning was wasted. The stronger you got. Okay, so remember that. Sometimes it's hard for us to really calculate and understand the, the hurdles that we've actually jumped when we feel like we haven't been moving at all. What does spirit want you to focus on right now? Three of wands. Look at that. How synchronistic is this image? Keep focused. Keep that vision in your sights. If you're experiencing any kind of setbacks in a love connection that you're working through or working on or a business opportunity or what you're painting something, you're, you know, whatever. <laughs> and I'm seeing like a mess of it, like finger painting, you know, you're just like, ah, oh, I hate this. I don't want to do this anymore. Maybe that's a metaphor. Whatever it is, I'm hearing start, I'm hearing for the painting, start fresh. <laughs> okay. But it's like with the fool as well, start fresh. You will start fresh. Okay, but keep your vision in focus. You will achieve this and it's going to be a great success. Some of you are going to go on a road trip or you're planning on it. And it's going to be quite beautiful. I, I'm hearing, remember this reading when you watch the sunset. <laughs> okay, interesting. Okay, aspect of yourself, of yourself or a part of life that needs more attention. We have the King of Wands, Spirit of Wands. I love this card. Just because you are more in your mental space about whatever this is you know you're waiting you're being patient you're putting all the pieces together you're understanding that someone's kind of falling away that the obstacles are are um clearing just because you're in that energy of uh, i'm feeling like ment mental stimulation or mental planning doesn't mean that you aren't actually doing sometimes what we think that doing is like real literal action so just for an example this doesn't have to be your situation but it's a handy example if you start a tarot channel you know you could think of your success as constantly pumping out videos right like you're just constantly pumping out the readings and maybe you're getting great views and, you, and you're um, building your subscriber base and that that's certainly I mean, there's no criticism of that. That's one way to do. And 
there are other ways to do, you know, sometimes you could release one or two and then take a break for a week. And maybe you'll have a little bit of a setback in, in your subscriber base or your viewers, but you're doing something in that time between. Maybe you're reading more about tarot. Maybe you're researching things that would add to your knowledge bank, you know, so when spirit channels through you, you have more knowledge to draw on, you know? So don't forget that that's all part of the doing. And this goes for anything that, that this, relate, uh, this reading is relating to. Those off times allow you to regenerate. Same when we sleep, right? Sleep is so important. You know, what are we doing? Well, we're sleeping, but we're not actually doing anything related to our work or related to love. But I'm hearing alas, <laughs> but alas, we are. <laughs> right. So give yourself more credit. Yeah. Anything else there? I feel like there's something else that wants to be said. Yeah. King of Cups. Okay, so we have we have three kings here. I feel like for some of you, you were doing things in the dream space on astral, or you're astral projecting. You're meeting somebody here. You could be meeting somebody here who is a water sign or is very watery in their, I'm hearing presentation or, or just the way they are, maybe very intuitive, maybe very emotional, very creative. And pay attention to this person when you meet them, even if it's a spirit guide or an, uh, if you have a dream where you're in water or there's water predominantly in the dream, that's a really important dream for you. Advice, justice, all in due time. Everything in life wants to come to an equilibrium. Everything wants to come into balance. And so it shall be, right? And so it shall be. And so this will come into balance for you. This, I'm hearing this life will come into balance for you. Whatever has been experienced as a hardship is going to swing massively, I'm hearing, into success and then kind of go back into this middle zone here where it's going to feel more comfortable. doesn't mean you're going to be less successful, but you know the, the anxieties around success, like I got to keep the success, more money, more problems, right? <laughs> that kind of thing. It's like you're going to, the energy from that massive success is going to kind of come back down and you will find that equilibrium that your soul desires and truly wants. That's beautiful. I also feel like if we're taking this in a literal sense and there's some kind of litigation or something going on with the law, be fair and be truthful. And I'm hearing and be fair, but it's like energetically fair. And I feel like this is related to that message of doing don't overdo it. Don't overdo it. Allow things to unfold. As you stitch things together, also allow things to unfold in whatever this is about. So don't push the energy. It will come into balance on its own. Justice will happen here for you. There's no doubt about it for me. Like in this reading, I feel it all over the place. The energy from the cards, the fool, the lovers, justice, you know, it, it will work out for you, whatever you're inquiring about. Next uh, three months, we have the queen of pentacles in reverse. If you were dealing with a difficult earth sign, okay, I know that's specific, but if you were, then that's going to be something that's no longer your problem or you're not going to have to deal with. I also feel like questions of security, financial security, are not going to be so much in the forefront of your mind. Let's get uh, a little bit more. I saw the star in reverse, but it was kind of, I didn't pull it. It was the last card there. Maybe you were focused on, on fame for someone here, stardom, and that's not going to be, a, you know, that's not important to you anymore, or some kind of recognition you wanted. Queen of Cups in reverse, Nine of Cups in reverse, that dreamy kind of uh, emotionally insecure, I'm hearing, energy, that's going to dissipate. You're really moving into the masculine energy here and leaving behind the feminine 
um, on its lower polarity. So I feel like you've already mastered that divine feminine aspect, regardless of your gender, and you're releasing kind of the toxic feminine that we have in our society, and sometimes we act out ourselves, and you're moving into the higher polarity of the masculine, which maybe feels something like it's something new to you. All right, Sagittarius, what a cool reading. I'm going to go into your extended, and I want to find out more about... Hmm... I want to find out more about the five swords. How is this person just going to go away? Like we need to know more about that because I feel like it's a point of anxiety. I also want to know what's actually going to happen with this project of yours or this connection or whatever it is that you're actively working on and building. But if this is where you go, I love you so much. I'll see you next time.